Hello YouTube and fellow Legend of Zelda fans, I'm Keith OneShot, and in one of my last videos I talked about the events that may have played out and led us into Breath of the Wild. And so now that the stage has been set, I'd like to talk about the evil presence that awaits us in Breath of the Wild, the Calamity Ganon. So sit back, pack plenty of potions, equip your favorite sword and shield, iron your best tunic, and get ready to test your courage more than you ever have before. Because this is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Calamity Ganon Breaking the Curse, and I'm your host, Keith OneShot. Ever since the Hero of Sky first struck down and defeated Demise in the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, the descendants of those who carry the spirit of the hero and the ancient bloodline of the goddess Hylia have been cursed to endlessly play out a role in a story yet to be written, as Zelda Link and the Demon King have all three been linked together by the forces of wisdom, courage, and power, the Triforce. The Demon King himself has been resurrected and reincarnated as well as locked and sealed away many times over. Every time the Demon King shows up in history, there's always been a hero and princess to rise up and challenge and defeat him. But what if the Demon King prevailed? What if he dealt a mortal wound to the hero or princess and prevented his own defeat? The official Legend of Zelda timeline tells us that this has happened in the past. The Hero of Time was in one timeline defeated by Ganondorf, one of the incarnations of Demise until eventually the Hero of Twilight rose up to defeat that Ganon in Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In Breath of the Wild, we've been shown that the evil that awaits us is the Calamity Ganon. But what exactly is the Calamity? In my theory, I propose that the Calamity Ganon is the imprisoned spiritual form of the Demon King, who in an attempt to regain his physical manifestation struck a mortal blow, killing the Hero, before the Princess sacrificed her life to prevent him from escaping Hyrule Castle grounds. I believe throughout our playthrough of Breath of the Wild, we will see Hyrule left in ruins after the Sheikah's guardians were corrupted by the Calamity Ganon's influence and destroyed most of Hyrule. We will see some of the areas that sit outside the reach of the Calamity's influence that are towns and villages, such as the Great Plateau itself, which is why I think Link was able to resurrect there. There's a reason the Calamity has been trapped in the castle town for a hundred years or so. Zelda herself has been using all her magic to keep him sealed away within so the hero can resurrect himself and be reborn, in hopes that he may unlock his potential and stop the calamity before he can physically manifest himself. I fear that despite our efforts in Breath of the Wild, the calamity will become his true form, being reborn as Demise himself, and not just another false Ganon Demon King. I believe the calamity, being Demise's imprisoned form, can make sense too, as in Skyward Sword he had a form of himself who was also known as the Imprisoned and by the sheer display of power that the Calamity Ganon has shown us so far, like seeing his energy corrupt the Guardians to destroy Hyrule and the powerful energy that surrounds him as he's locked in the castle tower. Despite all of his power, I'd be no surprise to see the true form of Demise be reborn again to face off against the reborn hero Link. This battle could be won for the ages, and if successful, Link could even break the curse of Demise by dealing a final blow in battle and finally end a chapter in our legend, offering us a fresh start for future games. This could truly be the last Legend of Zelda game of a generation, just as Nintendo themselves have begun passing the torches down to the next generation of creative minds, The Legend of Zelda 2 could be closing a chapter in history, this being the last Zelda game made by long-running producer EGI Anoma. And as I stated in a previous video, them drawing creative influence from all the old Zelda games that they recently remade and remastered. So essentially, all the past Zelda games are coming together, and if Link and Zelda are able to break Demise's curse, this could truly be the final chapter of the story we all know and love, which is both sad and exciting. Sometimes it's hard in life to move on or accept the world we know and love. Will and has changed. But if we embrace that change and adapt to the ever-changing circumstances we are faced with, that too can be very exciting. The journey of the unknown, something fresh and new. And isn't that sense of adventure into the unknown the very heart of the Legend of Zelda series itself? I'm Keith OneShot. If you like this theory of mine, please check out my other Legend of Zelda theories. And if you enjoyed those, please like and subscribe. And have a great day.